Mary Mead and welcome. Welcome to the realms of mysticism, the occult, and magic, where your possibilities are only limited by your imagination. Welcome to the Witch's Cauldron and discover the knowledge you seek. Gather round the cauldron and even stay for a spell. Brightest blessings to you. Gemini, Mary Mead, and welcome to the Witch's Cauldron. This is Paula with your January 2023 tarot reading. This will cover love, money, career, uh, the whole nine yards. Uh, to start things off, we're going to start with a couple of oracle cards. The first one that I am pulling from is the Moonology Manifestation Deck. So the overarching energy for this month for you is the new moon in Sagittarius. And that is focusing on the positive. In Gemini, this can be a particularly trying time for you because your ruling planet, Mercury is in retrograde um, and has been since the 28th of December 2022. So when your ruling planet is in retrograde, you can kind of feel out of sorts, especially because Mercury is a very fast moving kind of energy. Uh, so you could be really feeling off kilter. And it's important for you to remember to focus on the positive aspects instead of focusing on all the crap or the negative things, okay? And the Moonology card for you, Gemini, is uh, the super moon. Emotions are running high, again, tying in to that Mercury uh, energy. We can often find ourselves in the middle of relationship issues and I'm not just talking like love relationships I mean like your relationships with your family your friends your co-workers your parents the whole nine yards um, you can really feel just like you are chomping at the bit okay Gemini let's get into the tarot part of your reading the spread that I use for my monthly readings is called the 13 Moons Spread, and it was taught to me uh, by the former head high priest of my trad. Uh, he is a published author. He's written books on tarot, um, and he's like a certified master tarot reader, and it's based on the pentagram. In other words, you know, uh, Earth, air, fire, water, spirit. So over here in water, having to do with your emotions and your relationships, we have the Eight of Swords in the upright. The Eight of Swords, you may be feeling like your hands are tied where relationships are concerned. It's kind of like um, damned if you do, damned if you don't energy. And it's feeling like you're just kind of bristling at feeling like you're being restrained or bound. But the thing of it is, this is what I call the martyr complex card. Don't lay in the energy of victimhood where your relationships are concerned. Because you can see here, Lady Justice could wiggle just a little bit this way or this way, and use one of the swords that surround her to cut the ties that bind. These are not things that are like actual restrictions. This is more you putting the restrictions on yourself or being frozen in fear to do any move where your relationships are considered. We also have the Nine of Cups. You could be dealing with a relationship where someone is very greedy and manipulative. Um, you're not happy. You, They may have shattered your dreams. Let's see where this one's going. Temperance. This is a need to try and foster 
a an atmosphere of harmony in your relationships being a good influence on others, having confidence in yourself, not sitting in this martyr or this victimhood of the Eight of Swords. Have some self-confidence in when you're dealing with the relationships around you. This is you standing strong, but not uh, being overbearing, all right? Down here in fire, that's your drive, passion, sexual energy, your wanting to get things done. You know, that, that spark that lights a fire under your hind end and makes you get up and do something. So down here in fire, we have the sun in reverse. You could be feeling your energy levels can be really down, especially with your ruling planet being in retrograde, Gemini. This is putting things off. The thing of it is, is when you put things off or procrastinate, then you often, the spark that ignites you is desperation because you're like, oh my God, I got to get this done. So you're not reacting from a positive space. You're reacting when you procrastinate um, and put things off and not, you know, get on top of things. You're coming from a space of, oh, hell, now what have I done? So let's keep going. Again, decisions, planning, what you should invest your time in. And this is also, also usually tapping into your personal power, but also focusing on your partnerships. And this could be a business partner. It could be a life partner. And here, if the energy carries down from your emotions into fire, you may be discovering that you chose to stay in a situation that you shouldn't have. You Maybe you should have walked away. You should have disengaged. But to get you that creative spark back, this is a card of planning. While your energy may be down now and you could be experiencing some panic right now because you waited and procrastinated to take care of something and now it's an issue, if you tap into that planning and planning for the future energy of the Two of Wands, it will help you see, you know, results that you want to see. The Queen of Cups, this is being withdrawn. Your energy is way off this month, Gemini. It's also, you could be dealing with somebody who's very needy, very shallow, or you could be very needy or acting very shallow about things, about how you think about people and about um, things that are around you. It's also an energy of codependency, especially if you have somebody in your relationships that are making you think you're in the victim, like, you know, that you don't have any power to do anything about your situation, you're wrong. Um, because you've got all kinds of power behind you if you just tap into it. You need to go within and figure out what gets you up and gets you going. And then focus on that. Don't focus on, you know, the the junk that you've put off and everything like that. It's like, okay, what helps me get up out of bed in the morning? And I think through January, that's going to be the overarching kind of energy for you, Gemini. Down here in Earth, this is your money, your career, your finances, your home, uh, things of that nature. Having the resources and the material goods to support you and your family. And over here, we have the Hierophant. There are seems to be an alignment of values. You may also be looking toward tradition and um, it's also a card where you're encouraged to give compassion. So the Hierophant, if you are thinking about, say, changing careers or something of that nature, this is a time to do it because 
and you want to look for something, a job that aligns with your values. You may not manifest the new job, but you could start the process and of finding something that makes you happy on the inside as well as able to provide for your family. It's also being able to tap into your spirituality to keep yourself happy. Let's go over here. Six of Cups in reverse. This is kind of you wanting to be independent. You may want to walk away. You may want to turn your back on somebody and be on your own for a while. Let me go one more. Strength. Hanging in there. You may think about walking away and being on your own and, you know, being self-sufficient. Here are two cards here that are telling you to give compassion. You may need to get forgiveness from someone. You may also having the courage to walk away, to find a better job to find somebody who aligns with your values and doesn't put you in a state of victimhood. Trying to, you know, overcome the melancholy and the moodiness that the Queen of Cups brings. Come up here to air. This is knowledge, gaining knowledge, wisdom, intuition, learning, your ability to communicate. And as I said, since you're ruling planet, Mercury is in retrograde. You may be finding it very, very hard to express yourself. And your thoughts at night could be racing. The Nine of Swords is literally the crap that keeps you up at night. This is the insomnia card. It's anxiety, feeling overwhelmed, and, you know, not necessarily thinking through things logically because you're in such a severe state of depression or you could be having major nightmares and feeling completely hopeless. You're not seeing the, this is another card of despair and the five of cups, he's focused on the three cups that are spilled over he's not focused on the two that are behind him supporting him that there is support for you there is you know somebody there for you to talk it over with but it can also be you in a very you know sad state of sadness um feeling very lonely and i I used, I always say, you know, you can have somebody laying in the bed next to you and be one of the most alone SOBs on the face of the earth. Just because you're in a relationship or you have a relationship with someone, you could be feeling really, really alone and kind of getting stuck in your head um, with obsessive thoughts about what's wrong rather than Remember, focusing on the positive. The Eight of Wands in reverse, this is another one. Miscommunication, frustration, not being able to express yourself the way that you want to. Um, it's also got you to the point where you're like afraid to take any action. You're afraid to say anything. You're afraid to do anything. You're operating from a place of fear because your energy is just so off right now. Let's come up here to spirit, to your connection with the divine or a higher power. And we have the king of wands in the reverse. You could be very stubborn about something. Unreasonable expectations. You could have, for instance, um, you know, some of the... There's an old Garth, Garth Brooks song, you know, some of God's greatest gifts are unanswered prayers. And that could be what we're looking at. You could have prayed for something so long and so hard that it's put you into like a state of disconnect from creative energy, from 
source from the universe from a higher power and you could be you know instead thinking that you know because something didn't manifest for you that you wanted I usually say spells are like prayers with props right and that's how I explain it to my Christian or Judeo-Christian um, family in life is that, you know, okay, you pray, well, I do too. It's called a spell. It's just that I have props involved in mine. And you may have turned your back because of something that happened or did not happen. Um, I know when my dad passed away, I was so mad at, you know, then I was a Christian back in 93. Um, I was so mad I turned my back on my faith. And I was a lost little puppy. So that may be contributing to where you may have like a, a test of faith and you turned your back on it because things didn't manifest the way that you thought they should. But remember that the universe knows what's best for you. So just remember that. You may have gone through a whole bunch of options and letting your imagination run wild where your spirituality and your connection to source is concerned. I call the Seven of Cups the LARPer card. Uh, the live action role players kind of folks did, didn't seem to live in the moment. They had this whole alternate universe that they created because they couldn't handle their own reality and that may be you know you're spending all your time daydreaming but you're not doing a damn thing to change what's going on you're still stuck in that mentality of victimhood so don't don't stand there and just daydream about what you're going to do do something look to creator energy look to that divine power to help you change what you need to change you're feeling again this is another one this is setbacks and i think you've had a number of setbacks probably of your own creating um but you may have blamed them on everybody or the universe being against you and you can't think that way and be successful you may not be feeling any success at all this is kind of like when the nine of pentacles is in reverse it's kind of like pride goes before a fall your pride could have gotten you in gotten in the way and gotten you into trouble and you know you may have turned your back on your spirituality and things are only going to flip the right way when you get back to source and get back to the universe and your place in it and get back to that creator energy Three for Gemini for January 2023. What does the universe want Gemini to know? I mean, three cards for Gemini. We have the Four of Pentacles in reverse. This is, uh, if you've been overspending, knock it off. You need to watch your pennies. Three of Cups, you may have found out that somebody betrayed you or you are feeling neglected and frustrated. You're, again, this could be dealing with you holding back from your spirituality. It could be you overspending. It could also be, you know, you being a hard head at work and not wanting, you know, it's like, I'll just do it myself kind of energy stay away from that that's just bad juju and you have the ace of swords in reverse this is things being in complete chaos with <laughs> again mercury in retrograde really does a number on you gemini this is you having clouded judgment really the message is to take a hard look at what's been going on why do you feel like you're always you know in the in the stuff you have all the tools to release yourself and get you back back to center I'm gonna say 
and to get your the you know fire lit under your butt to do something because just sitting there and doing spells but not doing anything you know to manifest it it's like you know you can say oh my gosh i'm gonna do a spell so i win the lottery but if you don't go buy the ticket you can't ever win the lottery it's that kind of thing you can do all the spells and try and manifest anything under the world over the world but unless you take some kind of action to feed into that spell and believe it and know that you can overcome whatever obstacles are in your way you're going to stay in that eight of swords which was the first one you need to focus on the positive don't focus on the lack and remember that right now while mercury is in retrograde you are running a little hot with your emotions okay because everything you say and do seems to come out wrong so you get stuck in not wanting to do anything okay so, Gemini, that's what I have for you for January 2023. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If this did not resonate with you, then go and check your chart for your moon, your rising, and your Venus, and go check out those vi videos. They may resonate with you. Um, with that, as I always say, Gemini, Mary, we did meet. Mary, we will part until we Mary meet again. Be well and walk in love and light. Bye.